wanted to get rid of that line right there. The patch tool works, but the stomp tool is even better for that. If we wanted to get rid of that line right there, we could just take and select the stomp tool. We don't want that small brush, so now we're going to select a bigger brush. Our brush at 100. See, that's a bigger brush. And I'm going to select stomp. I'm going to start right here. Bam. And I'm going to go over there. And I'm just going to go straight down. Look, it's just going to remove that line. Because it's just following all the way down. It's it. Now I went too far. I had that there. So I got to erase. But I can go, bam. Do a little bit of some stop. Start over. Bam. Do a little some stop. Stay up there so it doesn't go, bring me the um, shoulder in. Boom, boom, boom. And do that. And I can start down here and stomp up. So that's how I stomped out the whole thing. So the stomp tool is a very useful tool. We use the stomp tool very often for taking out if we miss on the background. Let's see if I missed on her background at all at any time. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. I did not miss on Sierra's background. I was on it that day. Look at that, y'all. Okay, well, let's see if we find somebody. I just want to show you an example of this. Curvin, I may have missed on sometimes. Let's, uh, let's see if I missed on Curvin. Not at all. Man, I was. this must have been the same day because I was doing good. All right, I want to show you that, though. I want to show you that real quick. Oh, I know I didn't miss on that background. If I missed on that background, I would be shocked. No, I shouldn't be shot. I, I I should be loved. Well loved. Let's see. Did I ever? I didn't miss. Man, I'm. I did good. Well, basically, the stomp tool is a tool we use often to get rid of. Uh, if you miss on the background, we'll get rid of a bar or something. I ain't gonna show you that one because I had the wrong color. Okay, there. See that bar there? Let's do this. Thirty-four oh three. Thirty-four oh three. We drop, open it up. Now, let's say we want to stomp this out. We're going to use the stomp tool, still teaching on the stomp tool. And we're going to use this picture. Don't mind that red cap. I actually changed that cap in this gown blue. It was pretty cool. But see, I want all, see all that down there? Ah, I don't want, I don't want, oh, wrong picture. I have all kinds of pictures up here. See all that down there? I don't want that up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the selection tool to select a certain area. I'm selecting up next to the thing but I got it feathered at five y'all remember that feathering so now I want to feather it at zero because I wanted to keep a crisp sharp edge I'm gonna select up against the gown because I don't want anybody to see that down there where I missed and then I'm gonna take the stomp tool and I got it at a, a hundred which is not good on this one maybe 200 200 is good and I'm gonna stomp here and I'm gonna replace look at that y'all Look at that. See how I did that? I used the stomp tool, and there you go. There you go. I see how many times I used the stomp tool while I was doing it. I was hitting that alt button and kept going and smoothing it through and all that. So it was like that. Well, it was like that. And then it ended up like that using the stomp tool. So that's what the stomp tool is for. That's what we use it for and all that good stuff. So, next is a very simple tool and you'll see it is the zoom in zoom out tool and that's this tool here a lot of times I want to zoom real in to see something to see a spot this is the zoom tool right here if you um, you just zoom and when you want to zoom out you can actually hold what the shift what button I don't even know because I don't hold the alt button it'll subtract and you can just click 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 and it'll zoom out okay alright or if you also want to zoom control minus sign zooms out Control plus sign zooms in. Control minus sign zooms out, plus sign zooms in. Okay, so that's just real quick the zoom tool, nothing there. Next is the move tool. They call it the move tool. I call it the pointy tool, but it's a move tool we use a lot. It moves stuff around, okay? So if I want to move this whole picture over there, I grab it, click, I just click, I'm dragging, I'm holding the button down, I let go over here, boom, and moved it over there. Now I just moved it inside the picture. I grab it, click, move it. So whenever I want to move something, I grab the move tool, and that's what I do. I move it. And I like to keep the move tool on because it's a good tool. The move tool also, if you right click, it'll let you select layers. Over here is your layers palette. You got several layers. I got two layers now. If I, I could have as many layers as I want. I can put all three of these girls in here. We're working with. So we got this layer. But if I right click with the move tool, and I wanted to select that one, on top it gives me a list. Layer two. This is layer two. Boom. 
layer one, this is layer one, boom, and layer three, background layer, that's the background layer. So if I select layer two and start moving, guess what? It's going to move the layer I'm selecting. There is an options palette for it. If you put auto select on, that means it's going to select whatever you're on. So if I click here, it's going to move that. If I click there, it's going to move that. If I click here, it can't move that because that's the background. That's why I got the box. Uh, so click and move, click and move. I moved it over there, click and move. So that's when it's on auto select. It selects whatever you touch. Okay, so if I touch there, it's going to move. If I touch there. So I couldn't. So where, whereas before I was able to select layer 2 and move it from behind it because auto select layer was not on. Okay? All right, that's the move tool. Two more tools and we'll be about done. One is the gradient tool. Um, wow. Huh? Yeah, let's talk about the gradient tool. So the gradient tool is this tool right here. It makes gradients based on the foreground color and the background color. Okay, so if I, if I select the gradient tool and I click and move, it's going to make a gradient, a blending effect. See that? That's a gradient. It blended from black to white. I'm going to edit undo that because I don't want to keep that. Now, if I change my colors to red, and let's say we change it to blue, and we do the same gradient, it would be red to blue. Is it? That's what the gradient is. It, it, it blends it in. And up here, you get to select which kind of gradient you want. Okay. Now, the reason we use the gradient tool is a lot different and just bring it to it. What we do a lot of times is we'll want to blend this picture into that picture and we don't want it to look like a square edge so you can see so maybe we didn't have this picture say we wanted to blend this and make this picture blend in real good put it up there we would do make a add a mask we're going to talk about that layer we'll add a mask to the layer by doing layer add a mask reveal all then we'll grab our gradient tool and now what happens when there's a mask, this is a mask, when there's a mask on the layer and I go over, it's going to be, it's going to transform, it's going to be, it's actually going from transparent to whatever the picture was. So see, it's kind of blending it in. See, went back, little blend, blend, blend. I can blend like this, I can blend up like this, blend. Blend, blend, blend. See how it just blends it in. That is what the real reason that we use the gradient tool most of the time. Last tool. There's a lot of tools you can play with them, but the last tool that we use is called the blur tool. This is the blur. Oh, we got to talk about the eraser tool. But the blur tool. This is the blur tool. So we got one more tool. The blur tool. I'll show you the blur tool first. I'm gonna grab my point move tool, move her to the middle. Actually, I don't have to do that. I can just close that picture. I don't want to save it. Go back to. Uh, go back to her. Her skin will be the best to show this on. So we're going to use the zoom tool to zoom in on. We've already taken some pimples out, right? Remember? Because if you remember, you want to see. I'll show you. If you remember correctly, she see got well. There's the hair. Uh, you know what, guys? Her skin was. See her face was. See all that? And then when we finished, we rotated it, and I couldn't get the rotation out. Now her skin's a lot smoother. Anyway, now the blur tool is used to blur things. It just blurs. It blurs based on the options palette shows you. It blurs based on a certain strength. And <clears throat> you can use you want to have it at 100 strength. The mode is normal. That's the mode right there. And the brush. Of course, the brush is how much you want to blur in what area. Of course, we wouldn't want to use a 300 brush because if we tried to blur, we'd blur the hair and everything. But we're going to use a 65 um pixel brush or whatever that is and we're gonna blur now I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the blur effect okay so we got the skin and we uh, digital cameras tend to be very very sharp so we want to blur in that so if we blur you see how that blurring effect is going into our skin now if you want to blur that skin and you want to do something with blurring that skin the thing that you want to do is now this is what we typically do with the blur school to school yeah <laughs> the blur tool. I'll go in and blur everything. There's another way to make a glamour look. This is like a cheap glamour look that I do with the blur tool. I'll grab the blur tool and I'll blur around everything but what needs to stay